But I, I think we've got to understand that an Iranian retaliation for any military intervention in Syria would have been expected both by military planners and by policy folks, including at the White House. After all, let's remember, you know, Iran, it, it, the Quds Force was part of who planned the attack uh, to assassinate the Saudi ambassador here in Washington. Uh, there's a long established financial and policy relationship between uh, the Quds Force and Iranian authorities and Hezbollah, which has had sa sanctuary inside Syria for decades. And so that they would retaliate for an attack against the Assad regime uh, that's been their ally is not really a surprise to me. Fran, uh, there are also, of course, other possible targets uh, mentioned for retaliation. We've heard concerns expressed about U.S. interests in Lebanon and Turkey and Israel. Uh, what does your gut tell you uh, when you hear about uh, these types of, of t potential targets? Well, you know, what the first thing that your enemies look for are vulnerabilities. Where do they have assets and where are your vulnerabilities? And so targets uh, related to the United States around the world are always more vulnerable than something getting an attack launched inside the United States. It doesn't surprise me, both in Lebanon and in Iraq, they have a very strong presence and a lot of capability. Interesting, this, uh, the uh, Adana consulate, which was also cl drawn down to essential personnel, obviously this is being driven by, as the Wall Street Journal reported, some specific intelligence uh, that's driven the decision to announce this and draw down.